here comes the weekend, May 20th and 21st. We're leaving behind Taurus. I don't like when Taurus leaves. And the funny part is moons in Gemini. So we're getting the flavor of what's about to come, but we're right in that transition. So Taurus, Gemini, the quality of solidity with the gift of communication. I love this combination. And there is an intense T-square that's exact degree. So we have Mars at zero degrees Leo, exactly opposite Pluto in Aquarius, exactly squaring Jupiter in Taurus. They're all at zero degrees. It's crazy, a perfect T-square. That so, so do it again. We have Mars opposite Pluto. That's a very intense indicator. Mars is male energy, Pluto is power. They are in dialogue squared by Jupiter, which makes the whole thing big, and it releases in Scorpio. So let's start with talking Moon and Gemini about astrology. When you see a T-square, you've got to think T, it's upside down here, for tension. What is tension? When you have Moon and Gemini, you love tension because it keeps you bubbly. And as soon as the sun is going to enter into Gemini here in a minute, they really thrive on not chaos, but stimulation, conversation, socializing, people. Taurus is the opposite. Taurus spent the last month going, can we just calm down? Can we be settled? Here comes spring and summer. We need to give ourselves permission to go out and garden. Gemini's like, let's bring everybody over and have a party. So there is a contrasting energy between Taurus and Gemini. If a baby were born with this, the gift is stability with words. But with that exact T-square, we know there's tension that lives in the person. And what does that mean? It means that that, that soul, whenever you have tension, it's the soul that has to suffer in order to wake up. So all of you who are so comfortable in your skin and you just relax and you've given yourself a timeout card or you're letting yourself, that is not what a T-square equals. And in the sky today, because Mars is in Leo, Pluto's in Aquarius, it's inviting all of us to ask big fat questions like, how am I doing? Moon and Gemini, what is the nature of my reality? How do I understand what my function is here? Very important questions brought to you by a T-square releasing in Scorpio, a moon in Gemini talking about astrology, a perfect T-square, I mean, so exact. And we're moving into Gemini. Get out your journals, get out your colored crayons, get out your desire to read, get out your highlighter. We are leaving that calm Taurus gentle, which I love, and we're moving into Gemini. It's not to be judged because I am one. And that is simply an invitation in life to put yourself into the awareness of the child saying, what should I be learning? What should I be asking? What is going on in this reality? Really important question. So if I were you with this T-square perfect and the moon in Gemini, I would be scratching my head saying, I wonder what it is life is trying to teach me right now. Probably the most important question you could possibly ask, what are you supposed to be learning right now? Brought to you by Astrology Answers and Deborah. And for me, that question has really allowed me to have a joyful life because no matter what happens, T-square included, I have it in my chart, I am never, ever going to give up the quest to find peace, to learn how to be kind, to give myself permission to learn astrology, and to really share with you. If you do that when the moon's in Gemini, you're fulfilling your purpose. Now, the question says the moon in Gemini, what exactly am I supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to be learning? Tell me in the comments what you know to be true.